Hello everyone. I wanted to take time to provide an overview of your latest project. A question poem is a series of questions arranged poetically. Each question forms a line or a stanza. It may be rhymed or free versed. You will have a theme you want to convey and the question format is an excellent way to convey that particular theme. So here's what you'll be doing. Decide on a topic and create questions. Simple as that. Decide whether the tone is going to be serious, humorous, or a combination of both. You should have a combination of thick and thin questions. And you probably are asking, well, what are thick and thin questions? Well, a thick question is a question that is not directly found. These questions are not yes or no answers. They may start with why or how as your question stem. Thin questions will probably answer the question yes or no, or they may be a what question. And I've also, are will be attaching a little handout to let you know a little bit more about thick and thin. And I'll, of course, I'll be discussing it in class. Once you've come up with your questions, arrange your questions in order of importance. End with your hardest question last. So don't start with your hardest question first and then it gets easier. You should be going the opposite direction. So here's your overall assignment. Since we've been talking about bullying for a little over a month, you, you have become more familiar with the terminology and the personalities of these four t individuals. So now it's time to ask those hard hitting questions. Your task is to create 20 questions to one of the following individuals. You could be, you can ask 20 questions to a bully, a victim, a bystander, or an upstander. You do not have to ask 20 questions per individual. You're just choosing one individual to ask 20 questions to that person. Now, remembering what you remember about each individual, it takes you a little bit more time to think. So that is one of the reasons why I want you to use your spiral notebook to rough draft. Do not try to type it before you rough draft. It gives you time to think and process whether your questions are all thin questions or are they thick questions because you should have a, com a healthy combination of both. I won't say 10 and 10, but it should be more thick questions than thin questions. Now, your rough draft will be, your rough draft will stay in your spiral notebook, but your final draft will be typed in Google Classroom at a later date. As always, spelling, grammar, and punctuation will count. Most likely, I will be taking off more points if you do end a sentence and yes these are sentences and you don't have a question mark so please once you start typing make sure you've capitalized and you punctuate it correctly because you do not want to lose points on things that you could take time to make sure you type if you have any further questions we will be discussing this in class or you can give ask the question in the private comments. So I do want you to enjoy the assignment and let me know if you have any questions. Take care.